definitely here. One of the first signs, the bloom of skunk cabbage. Doesn't smell so good, does it, Cooper? <laughs> There's a reason why it is called skunk cabbage. <laughs> So just bear with me a little bit while I continue to test this camera. I'm hoping that maybe you can uh, hear the rain on the tarp, hear the river, and see the rain. And we have a boil. Cooper, you're getting soaking wet. Why don't you come in, buddy? Boy, you've been cooped up so long, you just don't care, do you? You want to be out. <laughs> Shows you where he's at. Look who decided to come in out of the rain. <laughs> Had enough? I told you so. I'll get you all wrapped up in my coat, okay? So we're ready to uh, cook up a meal. Let me show you what I have rigged up here. So there's my uh, Four Dogs windscreen. Also doubles as a uh, wood stove. But I've uh, rigged up a couple uh, titanium tent stakes. And I've used the uh, pot stand from my Evernew titanium alcohol stove. You see how I have that in a crossing pattern? That's going to hold what I have on top a little bit higher. How's that? Okay, so there's my pan stand, which is also the windscreen. It's the fry pan with a bunch of bacon in there. That should be high enough to keep the uh, alcohol stove burning without smothering it. And I found a lid, stainless steel. And of course, the little suction cup on top. We'll remove that so it doesn't burn for now. I'm hearing some sizzle already. Can't tell if you're uh, seeing the rain or not. It's definitely on the tarp. Okay, I see a piece. 
for a taste test. <laughs> Wait for it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, now to pick out a little piece for Cooper. Cooper want a piece, huh? There you go. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> you like that? I guess you do. How can anybody ever turn down a slice of bacon, huh? Good job. Somebody's a little bit cold. I'm gonna have to wrap you up. Huh? You wouldn't come in. You wouldn't come in. I don't know. I'm gonna wrap you up. So let me tell you about my interest in these uh, coal-handled frying pan. I saw the original on a uh, J. Kelly Nolan uh, video, and I took a closer look uh, during his video. It said cold handle right along the handle. So I went to Google looking for any new ones, and I found this one. Uh, this is a Jacob Bromwell Frontier frying pan, and it is in the style of the LNG coal handle. LNG was the first company to come out with a pressed carbon steel coal handle frying pan. So I picked one up on, trying to think here, about a month and a half ago. And you can get them, and I'll put a link uh, to where you can get these on uh, Amazon. Brand new. Wanted to mention, a couple weeks ago, a uh, good YouTube buddy, Craig Dwalla is his name. And I'll put a link to uh, his and also to uh, J. Kelly Nolan's uh, videos in the comments. But uh, Craig Dwalla has a coal handle, or I think it's a, a coal handle style, but I think he has an Acme frying pan, and he has a couple videos on this. Uh, I think as of about a week ago, he also shows how to uh, put a finish or a patina on uh, a frying pan. Cooper's finishing off his afternoon cookie. He was a good boy. Weren't you, Cooper? Cooper, were you a good boy? <laughs> I picked this up at an REI garage sale, and what this is, is actually an MSR gear closet from an MSR Nook tent. And this you attach to the front of the tent and it gives you an added uh, vestibule as a gear closet. And it has a zippered door right there. And I would like to drape my rain tarp off to the front of this thing and out. You see where the uh, guy line is? I think I could make kind of an extended tarp all suspended by one trekking pole. And to get in and out, once again, I have this zippered door off to the side. So that's my thinking. We'll see. Well, as the forecast said, we knew it was going to rain, and it is not going to let up. I'm going to finish my coffee. We're going to get packed up. I have my rain poncho, so we can hike out of here. Cooper has his rain gear on, so the hike is uh, not that long out of here. We're going to call it a day. 
It's our first hike in about a month and a half, and it sure feels great to just be out. Taking in the scenery, having some coffee, and testing out gear.